Hi, I guess we're just making videos whenever we feel like it now because this is my channel and I can do whatever the hell I want. So hi guys, it's Katherine Farrell. I don't know why I said my last name. It's not that official here. Well, first off, I just want to say a huge thank you and a big gratitude from the bottom of my heart to all the subscribers that I've gained in the past couple months. Um, I think I'm at about 136 or something. That's the number I had in my head last time I checked. I don't know. I don't keep a big eye on my numbers and stuff. I just create for fun. And uh, just the fact that there's even three people out there watching me is amazing. Triple digits is impeccable. And I have so much love in my heart for each and every one of you. I don't know if you can hear noises right now that sound demonic, but that is my dog, Maddie. Maddie, what's wrong? You really mean the world to me, and thank you for watching this this whole thing right here. <laughs> As the title dictates, and the whole reason you clicked on this video, is because we are talking about skincare today. So you know how like influencers and bitches on Instagram will always be like, so everyone has been asking about my skincare routine, and this is what I do. Um, I'm gonna have that moment today, even though. 0.0% of people asked. Actually, there was one person um, in one of my videos, under one of my videos in the comments. I can't remember which video and I can't remember the username. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of doing this on the fly, but there was one person, you can go and look. There was one glorious viewer that did ask that I make a skincare routine. So if this is for you. I, I'm gonna put your username somewhere around here. So you get the proper credit. I love skincare. It has like a really deep meaning to me because you know, our skin is who we are. This is, this is our foundation. I think if you take care of your skin, you're taking care of yourself and you're really putting in love and attention. When you put love and attention into yourself, it's going to radiate outward. And I think you're going to reap the benefits both inside and out. To also throw out the disclaimer, I am by no means a professional. I'm not a dermatologist. I have absolutely no training in that. Although one day I would like to. I've always had an interest in cosmetology. As for future Catherine, I would say before you make any kind of changes to your skincare routine, it's best to talk to a dermatologist, which I know can be expensive to go and see one. But I do believe there are resources that you can use to educate yourself on your skin and what it needs. I think first and foremost, if you have the opportunity, go see a dermatologist. No one will be able to pinpoint just what your skin needs as well as a trained professional. So over the past year in quarantine and the lockdown, I really got into skincare. That's like where it exploded for me. I heard through the grapevine that there was a big uptick in skincare YouTube. And you guys already know who I'm gonna mention, Hiram is the skincare god so that's always he's his videos are a great place to start if you're trying to get more educated and he's really sweet you can just tell by his on-camera presence that he has a good energy about him let's talk all about my skin i am very sensitive i have very, and me as a person is very sensitive i also have very sensitive skin which i feel like every redhead kind of has sensitive skin. I think it just comes with the territory of having fair skin. My skin type is also on the combination side where it's dry on the cheeks, which I do live in Colorado, which is a pretty dry climate. So it sucks the life out of my cheeks, but my T-zone can get a little bit oily, which is why I have blotting papers on me always. <laughs> I stay strapped with blotting papers. Growing up, especially as a teenager, I had like, the best skin I could really ask for. I didn't struggle with breakouts. I mean, yeah, I got a pimple here and there, but I was very fortunate to not have to deal with much skin struggle. Both of my parents and my brother never really had acne either. So it is a genetic thing, which I am very, very lucky in that regard. But oddly enough, when I turned about 18 or 19, I was starting to get some breakouts like on my chin area and around my forehead. They weren't terrible by any means. They were more on the mild side, but they were still kind of an annoyance, especially when I started modeling and being in front of the camera and seeing 
my skin in unedited photos. I'm like, what is happening? I've never had these issues before. Well, to backtrack, I started going to the dermatologist when I was, I think about 12 years old in middle school, because I was dealing with I'm gonna butcher the name, but I think it's called keratosis pilaris on my arms, which is like red, rashy looking skin. Even though I went in for the issue with my arms, um, they also recommended a skincare routine that I could get started on for my face. Ever since then, I've been very, very regimented with what I do with my skin. I, morning and night, it is my routine. It's what I look forward to every single day. It's where I get to take like five minutes in the morning and at night to just be in tune with myself. I started my skincare regimen at 12 years old and I'm 25 now, so it's been 13 years in the making. And while some things have changed, I still follow the philosophy that simple is best. When I'm about to show you my skincare routine, it's, it's nothing like glamorous or thrilling. <laughs> it's simple and sometimes, you know, simple is the best way to go. I really use a minimal amount of products. Most of them are drugstore, except for two, but everything else you can find in a drugstore. You don't need to shell out thousands and thousands of dollars on products. I think expensive luxury skincare can be kind of a gimmick. I think you're just paying for the name. You can get something that's just as beneficial to your skin from the drugstore. There's amazing brands out there. So what I'm about to show you with my skincare routine I will first walk you through my morning regimen and then my nighttime, which they're both pretty similar. There's just a few products that vary. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy these products. This is just what works for me and what I've found has granted me my best face. So we begin. I wake up. I usually do my workout and everything. And then once I'm ready to get ready for my actual day i will wash my face with lukewarm water i use this cleanser from la roche posay posay it's french and i don't speak french very but i don't speak french at all what do i mean i don't speak it very well i, I don't know a lick of french but la roche posay and this is for normal to dry skin this is a hydrating gentle cleanser this stuff is a game changer. I love this cleanser. It, just putting it, the first time I used it and put it on my skin, just felt like my skin was just like licking it up. I don't know, it was like silk for my skin. I get this at Walgreens in, I believe it's only about 15, $16. I know you can find it at Ulta too. This is amazing. It's great for sensitive skin, not super expensive and a great quality product. It gets stellar reviews. I actually first heard about this from Hiram because I was using just a normal Cetaphil cleanser and it was okay, it was doing the job, but it didn't give me like the moisture and the softness and hydration that this one does. We get along great. I don't dry my face with a towel because towels carry a lot of bacteria. I can push dirt and nastiness into your skin after you just cleaned it. Sometimes I towel off my eye area, but then I just let the rest air dry. And then I use this guy this is also the love of my life this is from the ordinary and it is the 100 percent organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil the greatest thing about this is it's only i think about seven dollars at ulta or you can order it online too a little bit of this goes a long way so this bottle lasts forever i just do a drop or two into my hands rub it around and just kind of press it into my face. I massage my cheeks with it. Just the smallest touch of it moisturizes my skin to the gods and I've noticed that it really makes my skin look more vibrant. Love this stuff. Rosehip seed oil and it sounds like it would have fragrance in it or that it's an essential oil which are not good for your skin but it is not. I know that for a fact. It's great for sensitive skin too. Then I let that sit for a few minutes and then I go in with the most important thing that there is, which you will hear every skincare expert tout, and that is to use sunscreen. That is key in keeping your skin looking young and healthy. So I use, this is from Cetaphil or Cetaphil. This is a daily facial moisturizer. It has SPF 50 plus, perfect for the porcelain types like myself. I like this one too because it's lightweight and it's not greasy and doesn't leave a white cast that sometimes you get with 
other suns like your typical sunscreen and for all of these make sure you put them on both your face and neck can't say that enough and lastly for my morning skincare routine i use an eye cream this is the CeraVe eye repair cream it's supposed to help with dark circles and puffiness which lord knows i can always use help with my dark circles and so this collection is all i use in the morning like i said we like to keep it simple i don't like walking around with like a million products on my face my face does best when things are light and refreshing on top of it even if you just use a cleanser moisturizer and the sunscreen then you're good to go sometimes less is really truly more oh yeah this is a fun little bonus that sometimes i do not every single day but if i have the time a couple days a week i use one of these guys a rose quartz roller it's like a little massaging tool for your skin so i go on my neck and like around my jawline and around my smile lines and all over my cheeks and under my eyes and on my forehead and my temples all over the face i see like everyone using these <laughs> in videos now so i had to get one and i really like it you stick it in the freezer and take it out whenever you're going to use it and it's just like a nice cooling awakening feeling on your face it's supposed to help oh gosh i don't have to talk scientific it's supposed to help with your lymphatic system which if your lymph nodes are blocked Sometimes they can cause like the look of a puffy face. So this is supposed to help drain it and get the blood flowing. So let's say it's a normal day where I put on makeup and I go about my daily adventures. I'll come home. If I don't have any other plans, I always go and take my makeup off. That's the first thing I do because makeup is really a terrorist to your skin. It's not that good for you. So the less you can wear and the less amount of time you have it on your skin the better which that can be tough for me because i love to wear makeup it's fun it's my creative expression but my pact is if i wear it then i gotta be diligent and take it off asap so when i remove my makeup first i use this cold cream this is pond's cold cream i get this at the drugstore as well all you need is like a little scoop of it on your finger and i put it on my eyes and i also massage it into my skin and then i wash it away so that gets that first initial layer of all the makeup off. My mom is the one who started me on doing that. I, that's how I've always removed my makeup. I didn't even realize, but I guess that's like the best way to remove makeup is to first have some kind of makeup remover and then go in with your cleanser. So it's good to have a two-step cleansing system to take off makeup. Whatever the cold cream doesn't take off, the cleanser is going to attack. Again, after I wash off the cold cream, then I use La Roche Pousset Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. Same idea, massage that around. Then once I'm done with that and my skin is dry, I go in with my tretinoin cream which this is what i was prescribed to to help with my breakouts on my chin and forehead that i was talking about earlier got that through the dermatologist that thing is a lifesaver because it took away my issues with honestly like within a week and they say it takes time to build up but that stuff I don't know that was fast acting for me it's very strong that's the reason it's prescription since it can be kind of sensitizing to the skin i use a pea size amount and I put it in the areas that I tend to get breakouts that keeps it under control and tretinoin it's a retinoid so it's great for aging skin also been putting it on where I'm starting to get like smile lines and my thinking face apparently I do this a lot with my eyebrows I furrow my eyebrows I shouldn't be doing it right now but I'm starting to get like a little crease in there so I put it all up in there and that's been taking care of things too. If you ever get the chance to go to a dermatologist, I would ask about some kind of retinoid to help with breakouts or fine lines and aging skin. I go back in with my rosehip seed oil. I take a few more drops this time around for nighttime since it's going to sit on my skin longer and soak up overnight so i pat in like four to five drops of that and then i use this cerave pm facial moisturizing lotion as my primary moisturizer it's nice because it's really light it doesn't clog my skin exfoliating wise i do exfoliate twice a week i used to use a scrub but I learned that scrubs can be pretty harsh on the skin. So instead I switched to a chemical exfoliant, which I 
found through Hiram. This is the CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. SA stands for salicylic acid, which is a main ingredient. Exfoliation is important to diminish any dead skin so it doesn't clog up your pores and cause acne. So that is it. That is my skincare routine for the evening. So these guys right here are my army to keeping my skin healthy in the evening time. And that sums up everything. That is what I do morning and night. Cleanse, moisturize, SPF. Those are the main components to a proper skincare routine. So that is it for me, guys. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I will do my best to answer them. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and comment and subscribe. I appreciate any kind of engagement you throw my way. Everything that I talked about will be listed in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching and a big thank you again to all my beautiful subscribers. I wouldn't be me without you. Have an amazing rest of your week and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys!